Hello. Don't you wanna have fun? Fool around someone. Welcome back to a new weekly reading vlog. You've got two chaotic dogs in the background who don't know how to chill out and a Tamika who is about to set up her hammock. Literally have a hammock here spread out on my floor. Mama of Tomes said that I wasn't allowed to hang my hammock near the very dangerous creek bed anymore. Very Eastern Kentucky of me to tell you this. Uh, but I literally had a hammock laying between or hanging between two trees um, really close to a creek, and she's worried that I'm going to wash away. Um, and after much convincing, I have convinced her to get me a hammock stand, and here we are. Head said hammock stand has came in, and I am setting it up outside. Like, that's what I'm literally about to go do. Did I tell you if I've read anything since I left HorrorCon? It's actually called Horror Hound Weekend. I keep calling it Horror Con. It's not what it's actually called, but tomato, tomato, you know? Uh, no, not a single thing. I can't focus on audiobooks. Um, life's just been up in the air, so we're gonna go try to read outside. Oh, I did read actually. I read um, volume four of Pleasure and Corruption. That's what I read. This is my Diet Mountain Dew. I don't wanna talk about it. I have a problem. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, Take this apart, see if there's any instructions, see what I really gotta do. And then we're gonna go outside and lay in the hammock. And uh, we'll read. So I'll give you updates once I get it all done. Hi, it is Saturday. I need to tell you what I read last night. And you see these nails? Listen, I tried doing myself. I used acrylic, so this is my first time doing acrylic. I painted them with black, and I immediately took it off because it looks like shit. Um, so I've got like black specks around it, so I've got to figure out something to do with these nails. I'm doing laundry. I need to tell you about the books that I've been reading. So chaos over here um i've read three manga i read three manga last night and i read a book yesterday and i've started another book and i'm working through cleaning my house because i need i need to clean it's cleaning day you know i also need to film today so like we're really on top of it if you need to know <laughs> we're really on top of it um wrestlemania is tonight so tonight my reading is going to be slim to none um, and I have a friend coming over, so I will probably be a little MIA on the reading for the rest of the weekend, but I do have to tell you about these other things that I've been reading, so I'm really excited to tell you about them. Also, this red, she turned in pink. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Uh, but nothing prepared me for how quickly it was going to happen, so. So if y'all didn't know, uh, Shay, Izzy, and I all host a read-along or a read-a-thon situation that happens April and September. Um, last year I did not participate in September because I had a lot going on. Mentally I just could not handle it. This year I am participating again. In April of last year I did not <laughs> read the total amount I was supposed to but I am determined this time. So in essentially in April we do a 30 and 30 and in September we do 30 and 30 where we read 30 manga in 30 days. I've read three manga so far and I want to tell you about them. So I did start Something's Wrong With Us. I have volume one and two. This is essentially like a dark romance and kind of romantic suspense combination we essentially have our heroine who was friends with this family and her her mother worked for them and her mother was accused of murdering the father and it's the girl getting revenge on the family by marrying the boy who accused her mother of being the murderer i've read two volumes so far um i'm interested enough to continue i gave the first one three and a half i gave the second one a four I'm very excited. I have two more volumes that I can actually read and I might 
read those today while I'm eating lunch and stuff. So we'll see what I get into. And then I also picked up volume two of My Dress Up Darling, which, listen, this one is interesting because this is a very, very cute kind of story. And it is, I'm trying to figure out how to describe it. It is, it is very cute and it's for a very specific audience but this is not for younger people if that makes sense um this does focus very very heavily on um the female's body all of her like her boobs her her um her ass her vagina literally all of her parts it's very heavily focused on it i it had been so long since i read the first volume that i forgot they were in high school so it's very weird that our main character is like 15 years old and they're sexualizing her this much so just be warned going in i age her up in my head because if I don't, I'm not going to be able to read this series because they are just putting this girl all over the page. Like, everything she got except she's clothed, you know? So it's more of sexual um, suggestion rather than actual sexual acts on page. Uh, I don't know how much more is going to actually be on page, but I'll let you know as I continue it. I do have one more volume that I want to try to read um in the next couple days I do really like this series it is very cute their relationship is adorable and they are just really cute characters like our heroine is just the cutest little bean and i just want to squeeze her because she's just precious you know like i just i just want to squeeze her and give her the world because she's just so cute so I really like this series and I'm really glad that I read this volume. I give this a four star. I am excited to read the next volume. I did start it last summer and I just never continued it, but I'm excited to get to it now. I'm gonna get some stuff done around the house and then I'm gonna come back and tell y'all about the book that I'm reading because I, 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 need, to, I need to get th through the book a little bit more. Um, but I will go ahead and say that I did read and complete Throne of Ruin yesterday, which is the second book in the Ruin of Roses series. And I'm reading the third book right now. So I'll come back and give you full thoughts on like the series as a whole as I get a little bit further through it, just because I'm reading them so close together that I feel like I'm just absorbing it all at once. So uh, I'll be back. This battery's dying. God damn it. I don't think this vlog's gonna be closed because I, you know what? Just just come to the next vlog. I, I don't have a battery that's charged. I, leave me a rainbow emoji, please, in the comments. Thank you. Don't you wanna have fun? Said that they don't got a future, future like